OE Connection proudly sponsors Flannel IT, information technology careers in Northeast Ohio. OE Connection is a leading online parts and service exchange in the automotive industry, assisting automotive dealers and repair customers. You know, I was thinking last night, Northeast Ohio just, it, it doesn't get a fair shake. I mean, we've been to so many like cool industries and met so many awesome people and all these great ideas. You know, I just, I just feel like there could be more going on. I mean, yeah, I mean, we could do a little more. That means, that means we can give away more prizes. And more series. And more, more air time. We could, we could discover new industries. More air time, more prizes. Yeah. I love it, I like that idea. I do too. Okay, speech is over. We got an interview. Oh. Let's go. Oh, So I'm here today with three experts that are going to help me find out information about getting a job in IT in Northeast Ohio. Carmen, I understand that you're with the Career Services Department at Baldwin Wallace. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your job? Absolutely. I love my job. Actually, I get to work with students every day. I help them to clarify what it is that they want to do. I help them to get experience during their undergraduate um, degree and then I help them to market that so they get a job upon graduation. Awesome. And since you're in career services, um, would there be any way you could tell me about how many IT students are finding jobs? Actually, yeah. Um, a lot of people think that in IT it's going to be hard to find a job because so many are being outsourced. Mm -hmm. But in reality, in Northeast Ohio alone, there are 96,000 people working in the IT field and a lot of them are getting ready to retire. So the demand for IT professionals is going to continue to grow. So if you've got my supply and demand lesson right, um, there is a good chance for an IT graduate to find a job. That's absolutely true. Awesome. And um, are many of them getting hired right out of college, or how does that work? Sure. In fact, higher education is definitely required. A lot of students think that they're kind of tech savvy, so they don't need to go to college and they can do it on their own. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, beyond the technical skills that people need to have, employers are looking for broader base of education. They want people who have good communication skills, they want people who can have good critical thinking skills, work well in diverse teams, and usually higher education is how people get that kind of experience. Right, right. I work for NOCHI. It's the Northeast Ohio Council on Higher Education. At NOCHI we have a website called neointern.net where we help students find internships at a lot of the IT places in Northeast Ohio. So, Sean, I understand you're an expert in internships. Did you do one yourself? I did do an internship in IT. I was a programmer analyst 10 years ago. When I was in college, I did an internship with a company who offered me my job before I finished my senior year of college. It was fantastic. And how would students gain more information about Nochi? If you go to our website, neointern.net, students can register for free and immediately begin looking for internships. It's fantastic. All right. I understand that another important factor in finding a job is networking. So we've got Kim, who's an expert in that. Yes. I'm a member of the Cleveland Professional 2030 Club, mm -hmm. and it's a nonprofit organization that connects and engages like minded individuals in Greater Cleveland. And are there clubs like this all over the region? Yes. There's actually a Torchbearers Club in Akron, there's Y Stark in Canton. There's also a 2030 club in Youngstown as well. Okay. So overall in Cleveland, we have about 600 members in 2030 club. That's amazing. And how exactly did you get involved with the club? I actually interned at National City and I went to my first event with a colleague of mine. And I've been a member ever since. It's just, it's a contagious group. You go to these events that are philanthropic, they're educational, they're, you know, like-minded individuals that want to know and learn about the region, and they also share their experiences and their jobs with you. That's awesome. I couldn't agree more. Really, sometimes it's not just what you know, it's who you know, too. And it's good to remember these, these key steps. Obviously, we need the education, uh, the internships, and the networking. These are the three things that are kind of going to bring that IT job to, to surface. Thank you so much for speaking with Thank me you. today, guys. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Carey. Right. 
Drew, got it. Um, I know I was supposed to help you out uh, while you were uh, away, but uh, is there a way we can delay it or, or hold back on it? I, I just have a good feeling about what I'm working on right now. Great, the, I'm so glad you can understand. I, I appreciate this, really. I, great, thank you. All right. Oh, this flannel makes me feel good. It's that time, my friends. That's right, time for you to win that grand prize. The only way you can be entered to win that prize is if you have each and every answer correct from the eight previous episodes. First three episodes, we actually looked at industries that were hiring IT professionals in Northeast Ohio. And speaking of those industries, let's just let's just break away for one minute because there are so many. It's so amazing. I mean, there are, yes, there's there's the entertainment amazing. industry, there's the e-commerce industry. Okay, thank there's the you, automotive thank you. Industry. We want them to watch. Okay, yeah. In episode four, we looked at the harder side of IT. I personally loved the cloud. That was my favorite. <laughs> Me too. It was like a, your own personal spaceship in that. Oh, where were we? Where, what was that? Yes, called? you can go back to Planet oh Annoying my gosh, now. It was so Planet Annoying, thank you. Episode five, we took a look at the softer side of IT. And in episode six and seven, education. Education was great too. I mean, the best thing about it is that all those colleges were right here in Northeast Ohio. I just yes. want everyone to understand that you can get an education, associates, Hey, go get an education over there, okay? So many, there. so yeah. many. Yes. And today, we looked at how you can get jobs in the IT industry. Internships, networking, and education. Let me touch base on internships because almost everyone that we spoke to had done an internship at the mm -hmm. company that they were working at. Hired I'm, right I here. actually have a Cleveland, new company. It's called Akron, Getaway. Youngstown. Getaway Corp. Oh my, Getaway Corp. Just check it out. Bye. All the episodes. Bye bye. You've okay. Gotta make sure you okay. look at all okay. of them. Thank you. Oh. Well, folks, it's that time. If you don't remember the answers, go back, look at them, log in, win. America, this is Flannel Man, signing off. Good luck. Hi, I'm Chuck Rotuno, President and CEO of OE Connection. We're recognized as one of the best employers in Ohio. We're committed to innovation, growing IT jobs, and rewarding creative thinking. Check us out at oeconnection.com. Oh, why hello! I am Flannel Man, your humble game show host and master of the answer. Go to the website below, register, and then log in and enter the three correct answers for today's episode to be entered to win cool prizes. The Flannel IT Show airs over eight weeks. Enter all the correct answers for all eight weeks and you'll be entered to win the grand prize. Keep watching. Good luck.